Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona. Uh, welcome back to my channel. We're going to talk empties this morning. Um, today is the first day I'm going for orientation at my new job, which is a nursing home. It's a very well-respected nursing home in the area. Uh, something totally out of my wheelhouse. You know, I do obstetrics um, for 32 years. And so just having my father in the nursing home now has kind of inspired me to kind of go down this path and see if I have anything to offer. Um, so I'm kind of excited. I don't officially start until in August, but today's orientation day, policies, procedures, you know, things like that. So uh, if you want to wish me luck, I'd like it. Thank you. But anyway, in the meantime, I have a few minutes to kill. I have a lot of empty there and it looks like a lot of Scentsy clams and it is, the basket is full. However, um, they are left over from the Bring Back My Bar, the samples that I made, the testing that I did. So each of these clams only had two cubes left in them, so they were easy to get through. And I just, I don't like to have all these clams that only have one or two bits in them. I gotta, I gotta get them out, so we're getting them out. And I did some mixing as well. But anyway, before we get to that, um, let's see what I've, other things I've finished. Um, I did finally finish the laundry liquid in Magnolia Linen. The sun is really weird. If I, if this is my regular spot, but the sun is right here and there's the window pane is right there. So I'm sorry if the lighting is weird because it is. Okay. Anyway, uh, Magnolia Linen. It was okay. Um, I liked, I liked the, this far better than the, uh, Scentsy Bar. The Scentsy Bar is good, but it is super, super strong, like blow you out of the house with one cube. It was just a little too strong and a little too magnolia for me, but this, the laundry liquid is better for me. Uh, I finished a Bath and Body Works sea salt and lime. This is a da 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 chilled lime, fresh eucalyptus, and sea salt. It was okay, it was very clean, it was very fresh, but it was also very, I found it to be kind of cologne-y, like when I came out of the restroom and my hand, I had washed my hands, I could still smell the cologne uh, business from it. I also finished um, a dryer disc, I think this is in Clean Breeze, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, and so, you know, so I just, I finished this, I finished the Magnolia washer liquid. So now what it's in there now, and I did my first load of laundry yesterday with fluffy fleece. My sheets and towels smell amazing. Love it. It's my favorite laundry products to date. Love them. Okay. Uh, for a candle, Wildberry Jam Donut from Bath and Body Works. Um, this was um, sweet Wildberry Jam, powder donut, brown sugar, and crumb, brown sugar crumble. Um, this was very light. The burn was fine. Had a little bit of soot there, as you can see right there, uh, but no tunneling. The wicks did fine. I didn't have to cotton ball it. Um, other than this, other than the um, soot, it burned fine. The, the throw out of ten, I would say it's five to six. It wasn't really all that, but what are you gonna do? Uh, in my laundry room, I just put in a scent circle in Clementine Cupcake. It's a very small area, so the scent circles do pretty good in there. And then on my nails, I have Tie the Knot, which is the white, silvery white business, and Plaid Reputation, which is obviously the plaid. I'm so sorry for the light. The plaid, there's the plaid. Okay, wax. Um, I did finish the bag of Campfire Coffee, which I was pretty pleased about. There was only a couple chunks left. And again, I think this is like Paris Cafe, not sure. Um, in the warmers now from last night, I didn't change it this morning, is Ella After Wax Comfy Cozy in Citrus Sandalwood, Violet, Warm Cotton, and Vanilla Musk. This is very, very nice. It's just very warm, cozy. I love anything with sandalwood in it, and this does not disappoint. I love sandalwood. Yep, it's really, really good. So I'm gonna leave that out. Then we get into clams. There might be some more bags down there, but we're just gonna talk about get through these clams. Um, from the bathing garden, I melted Rainbow Apothecary. Sorry. Uh, lemongrass, sandalwood, rosewood, rosewood, vetiver, and lemonine, which is a chemical found in citrus peels. So there you go. This was nice. This was kind of light, surprisingly, for the bathing garden. I have to say the throw on this one out of 10 might be six-ish. I mean, it was 
there, but it wasn't really strong. Then I'm really just gonna power through these, um, bring up my bar clams. Um, and if I remember which ones I mixed, I will let you know. Um, I did mix Caramel Vanilla Delight with Buckleberry, and that was good. And remember, there was only two clam, two, two, um, two cubes in each clam. So between the six warmers, I really got through a lot fast. So that's why it looks like a lot. Um, I melted, let me see if I remember what else I mixed. I gotta keep an eye on the time too. Um, I mixed blueberry pancakes with lemon coconut chiffon. That was a good mix. And let's see. Cashmere and corduroy. That was just a clam that I melted. Uh, aloe water and cucumber. I think I mixed that with um, berry of paradise, if I'm not mistaken. And let's see what else. Oops. Oh, there's not the candle in there. Um, let's see. Business casual. I mixed with love and happiness. And in not in the same not in the same warmers, but in the same the same melting period, like in the morning, I kind of did uh, bamboo yuzu and summer rain just to kind of keep it clean all the way throughout the house. Um, inner piece I melted in my bedroom one night. Um, let's see if I remember what else I melted together. I think I did. Well, crane apple crumble was last week's. Sensi Saturday. And it was a thumbs down. If you didn't see it, you can watch it. Blackberry orange marmalade. I melted on its own because I love it. Um, and then I can't remember now. Blonde wood and moonflower. I melted that on its own because I just love it as it is. Simply irresistible. I melted either with coconut vanilla orchid or pineapple coconut vanilla and I find these kind of similar except I think one is coconut one doesn't and that leaves cutie pie cupcake which I melted in a warmer by itself and forever yours by itself great okay oh oh this was really good this was DD wax melts from um Hobby Lobby and uh it's called number 18 moss and black cypress which is red cedar Spanish moss and water lily I loved this one very fresh and aquatic. Really, really good. The scent lasted. I gave it an 8 out of 10 for throw. It was really good. I would repurchase this one again. In fact, I have, I ha this, it, this was a repurchase. Um, and again, I just want to say to take note of the um, price is $2.99. But almost every other week, they go on sale for 50% off. So never pay full price. Hobby Lobby has them on sale, like I said, very, very frequently. Okay. I also melted some more of the sun-drenched apricot rose. This is a Yankee candle that I melted to make tarts with. I'd hoped to get through it, but then I started melting. I wanted to get through those um, Scentsy bars, so I did not end up doing that. I also, when I put in my new uh, scent circle in the laundry room, I took out this one. It's been there a while. I forgot about it. Uh, Mighty Pine. That was from the Christmas collection. The holiday collection, I guess it's called. Um, and also, I burned a sun-washed citrus. Um, this is uh, Sorrento Lemon Citron Agave Nectar with Essential Oils. This also had a good burn. Uh, this one, that's, that's, that's a lie. When it got to about two-thirds down, it really got puny wicks, but I just let it go and it self-corrected. I didn't cotton ball it, it self-corrected, but it burned all the way down to the wick clips and no problems there. It also was a little bit light though. Um, anyway, and then finally, um, in my tea light warmer, I pulled out my tea light warmer uh, to help get through some of the um, leftover bits from bring up my bar. Anyway, and I, the, I have these two samples from Destination Wax, rose water lemonade. And I have had this in the past, uh, a fanciful blend of rose water and sweet lemonade. That is, that was good. And sugar vanilla champagne, effervescent champagne laced with sugar vanilla. This also was very good. And the effervescence in here, you could really smell. I was very, very impressed. 
Um, now I was reading on, I think Destination Wax um, website this morning, or not website, Facebook page. Ooh, I put those. Okay, good. Okay. Um, that Rebecca is not going to be open in August, which is really disappointing because I missed the July opening. I was out of town and I really wanted to get the Blackberry Oud one. So if you have Blackberry Oud, let me know how it is. I'm dying to get it. So hopefully on her next opening, it will be available then. So anyway, that's it. I guess I better get moving here. I got that new job to go to. Don't want to be late on the first day. Um, so anyway, I will keep you posted on the new job. And don't forget, uh, July is transition month. So almost everything on my Sensi website is 10% off. And we have some new launches up on the website. And also back there, I guess you can't see it. I don't know, well, you can't see it. Um, there's a box back there with the July warmer of the month. It only came yesterday. Well, I ordered it late, so I ordered it late. So no problem there. But so anyway, after work today, I think I'll come home and preview the warmer and scent of the month for July. I've already melted this uh, Desert Tropics. And we'll talk about the warmer. So that's it for now, everybody. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.